Alright, welcome to another uh, C++ tutorial. Um, just want to go ahead and touch base on uh, another item or two uh, before I get off to work here. So I figured I'd make one that's going to um, give you the distance between two points. Uh, I'll just go ahead and run into the code for you. Uh, first thing you want to do is initialize your X and your Y. Make sure you set them as arrays so that way you can use um, X multiple times, that way you don't have to worry about using them and um, or re having to initialize like X1 and X2, you can just you can just use the array, it's a lot easier. Alright, double, total, and then results. Okay, um, just a quick little uh, reminder, the uh, the algorithm for the distance between two uh, points is uh, the P1 times P2, which is equal to the square root of X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. Um, this is going to cover that algorithm, and it's just going to do what you, uh, what I just call busy work, just, you know, putting numbers into a calculator, timesing them, writing them on paper, adding them, and it's just really tedious when you could just easily write a program that can just do it all for you. All you have to do is enter the numbers. So uh, after you initialize um, your your doubles up there, you can either use floats or doubles. I just prefer doubles. They're uh, they're just easier to use. I don't have to put you know point zero after them or f or anything like that. I can just use the numbers, and if I get a, a decimal, it, it it doesn't give me an error or anything. First thing you want to do is do your C out which is enter the objects enter object 1's x position alright, and L and then our CN is going to be our x0 and then we'll see out again enter object my position. Now you can use this with uh, 3D t as well, it, um, but I'm just going to do it for, for um, 2D. And uh, I, I, might, I might do it 3D. All, all you really have to do is just add in a, uh, a Z or Z value, and um, that's really about it. So what you want to do is copy and paste copy and paste. And uh, if you're not too familiar with arrays, I recommend looking at a tutorial. Um, you In the top array, you want to make sure that you initialize how many they're going to be. And then down here, you make sure you start with zero, not one. One will equal two, two will equal three, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now we got that. And we'll change that to two. And two. Okay. Alright. And now our P1 is going to equal X0, oops, sorry, X1 minus X0. Our P2 is going to equal, yep, Y1 minus Y0. Got an error up here. Hold on. Okay. Now we want to just square them, and the easiest way to do them is just times it by itself. Oops, not P2. P2 times equals P2. Alright. And now our result is going to equal P1 plus P2. And if you're not familiar with the square root function, um, just make sure you have both your CMath and Math includes. Um, I think it, you just have to include CMath, but I just like to have math, math.h in there as well, just in case um, I get an error. I don't have to really worry about it. It takes a little bit more processing power, CPU or whatever, but for a program this small, it doesn't really matter. Now you want to square our results, like so. And then see out uh, the answer is, and then total. Okay, and down. And 
and make sure that you have your system paused or else it's going to just uh, close out really quick. So let's just compile it. Let's see if I get any errors. Nope, no errors. Alright, so enter x1's position. We'll just do uh, 25, uh, 80, and I'm using points I already know about. That way I make sure I get the right answer. Answer is 50. Correct. Or this, or you can, if you want to check it, make sure that you're getting all the right totals. You can do C out and do result. This is just kind of a uh, double check, just to uh, make sure that you're uh, not having any errors or you get the right right position. So it should equal 2,500. So let's put these numbers back in. Yep, 2500, and the square root of 2500 is 50. So, um, another quick tutorial. Um, if you'd like me to do anything that you're having problems with, I could figure it out. Plus, it would be helpful for me. Um, but thanks for watching.